I've continued developing OrGraph, adding new features that I think will help me with scientific writing. OrGraph is basically a collection of really functional links that do things uh, that I find useful. For example, this bibliography link above my cursor right here, uh, these are clickable links that open it. One of the new features in OrGraph is if you put your cursor on it and just let it sit, you'll see a message down here that this file exists. That's helpful because if I delete a character and then I put the cursor there, you see it's not found and that gives me uh, an alert. If you move the cursor over to this other file, it shows you that that file exists. If I press enter, it opens the file and I can see the bibliography. If I press enter on this one, it opens that file and shows me that bibliography. So OrGraph has links that are uh, context uh, sensitive on where your cursor is. What else is useful? Up here we have a custom ID link. If I put my cursor on here, now I get in the mini buffer a little results and discussion uh, context that tells me this is a link that points to this results and discussion section. Let's look at some more features. It used to be that you could click on a link and it would show you the reference in the mini buffer and give you a little menu. Now if you just put the cursor there, it will show you this little uh, reference down here. You can still press enter and now you'll get a helm buffer that gives you a couple of options. For example, you can just press enter to go away or you can uh, select open BibTeX entry. It will go right to the entry or you can select any of these others, open the PDF, if you have it. And, and many other uh, uh, options. Let's look at some more links. Here is a, a label in an equation. If we look down here at this, uh, we see a message that gives us some context of where the label that that ref link points to and it tells me there's only one of those labels. Let's look at this, uh, this link. This is going to say no entry found. Well, that's probably because I accidentally deleted a character. Let's go ahead and fix it. We type control C right bracket and we can find the reference right here and now we type control U control U enter and it will repair that uh, and replace the bad link. If I want to add another reference to it, control C bracket and let's add the other uh, active documents here. And I just press enter and it appends to the end. So it's easy to add uh, references, fix references, etc. Let's check out results and discussion here. Here's another kind of ref link. This one points to uh, a table. And here you see the my results is the label that's being referred to and there's a count of one. Here again is a, a different style of reference instead of equation reference, just a regular reference. Down here we have a reference to a figure. This one is going to say count equals two. That's because there is an org label here that's labeled icon and a link labeled icon here and that's a bad thing for LaTeX. So we can do a couple of things. Uh, one is we can replace one of these. Let's make this one icon 2. No, actually, let's make this one icon 2. And now if I come back here, it gives me a context, shows me a count of 1. Down here, if I put uh, this, it shows only one occurrence. Let's add some references for Emacs. Uh, we can pick the Emacs editor and We need to be uh, not on a word. That's the Emacs Lisp. We can replace that one because I meant to type this one like so. And that shows me there. If you want an alternative citation, just uh, type control C bracket, select the entries you want, and then type control U enter and we'll be selecting down here the type we want, site num it is. Okay, so a lot of the features that I've been showing you just illustrate that when you're on a link, you can get context in the mini buffer. 
So for example, uh, here we, I just deleted some characters. Let's delete a few more. Uh, let's say um, up here we'll mess up this link. If we click on a new command called orgref, alt x, orgref, we'll get a buffer that shows us that we have some bad citations and some bad links. So this will take me straight to it and I can fix these. If we run our command again, then we only have one bad link left. We can come down here. Let's type control U C right bracket and this will give me the uh, available refs that I wanted and that will replace it and repair it. Now when we look here we see lots of uh, everything's clear. We have some utilities. If you can't remember how to insert a citation just run the orgref command and you can pick that. You can insert a label. This will help you make unique labels. You can see a list of figures. These are clickable links that take you to the particular uh, place in the buffer. You can also look at some of the export functions. I know you can do control C, control E, L, and O, uh, but you can also just select export to PDF and open. And that will take our, our buffer here, convert it to LaTeX, run PDF LaTeX, and then open, uh, open the buffer or open the PDF for you to see. And you can see all of those beautiful things here. So that's basically it for uh, Orgref right now. Uh, I'm trying to make all of these little context menus work the way I want them to in ways that make sense, in ways that are helpful, so that you can, as you're reading, get information about the buffer, about the links, and see how they work. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.